So in here right now, we do have a brand new Prius 2023, which is fully redesigned, which is, has brand new engine design, especially for this car, not for something else. And it's here, and it has a lot of different hidden features. And the other one, which is available for even LE edition, I was surprised actually, because I was not thinking LE edition gonna get parking sensors 360 on the front and the back, which is my Crown XLE, it doesn't have it. And it has beautiful headlights, which you can see has an LED light, and you're thinking my gonna be able to see it at night when you're driving it off the city, but it's not true, and you're not gonna see anything in front of you. But if you're driving in the city, it's gonna be super nice because it's a city car, it's not a freeway drive car, it's a totally city car. So it has a standard rims and it has a plastic cap caps. You can see it, you can feel it. To open the trunk, you're gonna again spend some time because there is no button available, but you might gonna thinking it's right here. You're right, it's right here on the bottom. I mean on the bottom of the rear spoiler on the trunk right so you can open it but again if it's going to be like mud or dusty or something else or snow it's going to be dirty you're not going to be able to open it you're not going to be able to open it from your button if the car is working so you have to manually open from the inside or the car should be off so you're going to be open it so the, the interesting thing about the rear door there is a rear door there is nothing seriously about it there's just a door you can open it but again if there is a button here you're gonna open it. For some reason, there is other button which is manual, and it's supposed to be easy to open. For example, if the kids cannot reach the, the, the button, they cannot push it, so they have to push it manually, right? But even me, I'm not a kid. I'm trying to put my finger and push it inside, but I cannot. I cannot open it. I mean, it's still closed by opening the door by the button. But again, what is this thing, and who did it, and why they did it? I think I have no idea. I can push it. I can push it, but it's so hard, and I'm gonna hurt my fingers. But again, you wanna open it? Okay, you open it. So the space, like I say, on the back, it's it's nothing. I mean, there is, there is no no much space. I mean, inside it's just a Prius. There is nothing surprise about it. You, you don't have to wonder how, how good materials are. We're talking about the economy. We're talking about design. The design is really good. I mean, especially in this color, it's a red color. I mean, not a lot of people want red. They want a black, they want a, they want a white. It's a Prius. I mean, you have to drive it on the freeway, 100, 000, I mean, 100 miles per hour. That's, that's what it's designed for, you know? Not actually to drive in the city. So who's gonna buy a red car? I have no idea. I bought it. Again, I bought it. Why? Because the market, in market, the market is so strong right now. This car on a huge demand. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere. I mean, if somebody has it, they're not going to sell you for MSRP. They're going to sell it for over. Over, I have no idea how much. Depends where you're living. Depends what you're doing. Depends what your credit score. You might going to pay more. You might going to pay less. But it's a brand new car. Everybody want it. Everybody want to see it. Am I impressing someone by driving this car? Not at all. Am I impressing myself to drive in this car and see what's the economy fuel on this car? Not at all, because I can see that the, there is not big difference between the previous body and between this car. So, and we're driving inside the Prius and it's doing exactly the same what the Crown does. It's uh, beeping and you might quite notice this car was beeping a little bit slower. Right now it's going faster and it's gonna keep going faster and faster. Just hear that sound. Just, just feel it. Just feel it, you're driving the brand new Toyota. It's not the Crown anymore. That's a brand new Prius 2023, which is a legend. It's a legend everywhere because the sales just abnormal. They are abnormal everywhere. In Japan, in Europe, in the United States, because everybody wants to save money. Nobody wants to pay a lot of money for the gas. There is not no V8 anymore. I mean, they do available, but it's quite less than it used to be before. You know why? Because we're in the saving period of time. Everybody's saving. There is a save on the energy, you have to go solar panel. There is a save on gas, you have to go hybrid. If you cannot go hybrid, you have to go electric car. But again, if you go on electric car, there is a lot of prices you have to pay for it. It's not only about the charging station, that's about solar panels you have to put it on the car. And keep going this, this, and this, and this. So finally, you got the Prius. I mean, if the Crown, you were waiting six months, this car, you might gonna wait one year, or you might gonna wait a little bit more, just because it's a high demand in United States, in the United States, especially right now, because it's a high demand, especially in the United States, and especially right now, because we're in a saving time. We're just saving money, you know, and we're just saving a little bit sound. So I'm trying to go louder as the Prius go lighter on me. I can do nothing that because I'm in traffic. I'm just keep driving. I'm just going my way. I'm just doing my needs, but it's keep driving. So I have to go back on the seat and click it and unclick it again, or just turn it off and turn it back on. Finally, nice. It's like a BMW. After quite some time, about five, seven minutes, it just turned off. So we can talk about car a little bit. I can slow it down the fan so you can hear what's going on. And again, 
my phone as i told you before it's dead i mean the battery it's almost gone i mean on this on this phone it's like five percent on the other one it's ten percent i do have a wire which i which is you like old usb wire right i got the socket just right now just because i had to you know so now we want to charge the phone there is a usb port available there's a charging station available and it's not only two if you're going to open the middle glove compartment you're going to see two more so that gives you five of those right and you check on the back there's two more so a total of them is six but the problem is it's a usb c whatever did i type so which is my usb cable just going to trash and it's again same same exactly thing about the glove compartment that's that's i i know right now why it's called glove compartment because literally i mean you can put on the gloves here there's nothing else ah and for sure you have to keep the manuals because the the factory is suggesting you you have to keep it you know just just have it there is a nice uh delivery checklist there is some other nice guides and this and that you have your phone but keep reading the books you know guys it's it's i mean the people just completely forgot how to read the books so now we're going to climb it well it's a climate control it's a beautiful thing i mean every previous has it even the old one even the super old like 2004 when it just came on the, the study it's i mean it's a generation two the first one came in 2001 for united states and it had the climate control also so now we have that we have that steering wheel which is kind of again i'm not i'm not taking this car as a fifty thousand dollar car i'm taking this car how it's supposed to be msrp for this car about twenty nine thousand and two hundred which is like which is like less than the crown but this car has a smaller screen but again it has a parking sensors which is all around 360 on this car crown has how many you think you're right it has zero and we are driving the prius which is prius le edition that's the cheapest one on the market available but you cannot get it so the market reality right now in may 2023 is you have to pre-order it you have to wait for it and after you have to pay additional price to that and if the crown you're gonna buy between three and eight maybe thousand over sticker for this car some dealers they're asking ten thousand over sticker for the prius nice beautiful thing i love it so much so why do people love it the prius so much first of all that's a prius that's a legend it's always was saving the money it's durable i mean you're not gonna have any problem with the prius maybe oil change maybe brakes but not right now maybe about 40 50 000 miles you're gonna do the brakes 10 000 miles that's what maintenance suggestions here 10 000 miles you have to do the oil change but until 2000 i mean until 10 000 miles you're gonna do nothing so right now i have a 520 miles in the car it's a brand new 2023 toyota prius and it has beautiful red color of the body but again it used to be my daily driven car because it's brand new i mean everybody wanted it i got it and i was not proud but i'm 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 kind of was impressed and the people around me they've been checking and looking you know what's going on what kind of car is that nobody understand but i drove 500 miles and i do understand what kind of car and i stop it and i, I and i park it so while i'm driving the crown right now so and while the car was sitting i was waiting for that period of time which is came right now that's the golden time for my personal daily driven car prius 2023 le edition and what i can tell you right now i do love it so much as a prius not as a car as a prius because prius it's not the car prius it's just a prius you know so we're going to drive through car wash right now just to see how it goes i mean the engine you probably heard it already so the soundproof of this car is just like it's going close to zero but again it's a prius it's a hybrid electric whatever you're gonna say ah there is one one more interesting thing about the toyota right now about the new one about the prius and i can tell the same about the toyota crown so when you're receiving the key i mean in my case both cars got delivered to me i didn't drive to dealership to sign all the paperwork they just came to me and did it so this way because my broker made the deal I didn't agree i didn't sign any contracts any warranty extended warranty for the new car which they sell them and you're gonna buy it doesn't matter what you'll see if you're not believing me you'll see you're gonna buy it so i got the car delivered and now i'm gonna show you the keys for these cars for both of them so that's the key for the crown right and that's the key for the prius or either or whatever i mean they're all the same the, the, it's both same keys and uh, there is nothing going on i'm keeping in the in the back just because the car's going for sale i'm not keeping them they're just going for sale it's a beautiful key it says prius on it and it's just nice nice key right and there is a second key which is this one okay and now i'm going to show you the the crown key 
you can see the patronic right now it's keep working i mean i cannot turn it off there is no buttons there is nothing i mean it's just there and it's keep working you know so that's the key for your toyota crown i do love the light here it's beautiful you can see toyota crown but the main problem of both cars and about both keys i do have only one smart key why I don't know why they, they just brought it they say there is one key and there's a huge shortage i mean that's huge shortage for whatever they sell and they there is a huge shortage you know and i got one key they say next week you're probably gonna get it so with the previous situation it's been about three months and i still didn't get it i still don't have it the crown they say yeah you have to wait about a couple weeks then you're gonna get it so it's been a second month for the crown and I still have only one key. So there is a sound proven of this car, you can hear and you can tell. Yeah, I mean, it's a Prius, it doesn't have one, it just, it's just a Prius, it's there. All the plastic, all the doors, I mean, the, the Russian way style, it's clicking, but you can put it back, almost like that, yeah. And here is the steering wheel, the leather is so nice, but I think it's gonna last about 50,000 miles, and after you're gonna see the holes. So, about the belts, I do know some people, Who's gonna use the belt the right way which is never gonna beep again so they're just gonna click it behind the back you don't know this way just pay attention you're gonna see it a lot okay so now i'm not that way i'm going this way so what what you're gonna get for the previous le and if you're gonna get lucky you're gonna get it for msrp which is 29,000 and about 200 dollars and you're gonna get the le edition so we're driving inside the Prius and as you might know or might not but I'm gonna tell you that inside it's exactly same design as a BZ4X whatever that's electric small SUV we just have to produce in same way together with Toyota there is kind I mean Toyota Prius this is kind of demand on that car also because it's electric plug-in and all that kind of stuff and you have exactly the same cluster exactly the same way as a designed and made here so there is two monitors right now there is one cluster in the middle right in front of your steering wheel and there's one in the middle for your multimedia and all other stuff the backup camera and parking sensors all the features whatever is there but as i'm driving right now i can see what the, my speed is i'm just keep driving the, the way i'm feeling it because it's a prius you have to drive it not the way it's designed i mean you have to drive it the way you feel it if you feel that it's a mclaren and you can go 100 miles per hour on the freeway you can do it because it's a prius and nobody cares believe me when you're driving the prius 100 miles per hour on the freeway and Nobody cares about it. It's not because it's super cool. It's because you're driving the Prius. It gives you that ability, which you're not going to feel it until you're going to drive it. The second point about the new car, if you're going to drive it 100 miles per hour on the freeway and the cops going to stop you, they're probably not going to give you a ticket for the speeding. And you know why? Because you can tell them, I cannot see my speed. And especially if you're driving like that, because right now I can see nothing what's going on on my front screen, which is cluster. I cannot see temperature, I cannot see my gas level, I cannot, speed, I cannot see the speed. Even if I'm going to move my hand on the left side of the steering wheel, I'm going to see I'm on the EV mode. That's all I can going to see. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. I'm going to see the time which is uh, 3 15 p.m right now and i'm gonna see temperature outside 78 fahrenheit which is super ready and one more thing i'm gonna see on the cluster that's the icon on the side which says ready so your prius is ready to drive i mean i'm already driving why it's ready it's always ready to what to go on the sport mode which is doing nothing i mean again we're getting like oh no i'm so sorry we're getting four modes here so we do have eco mode we do have a normal mode we do have a sport mode and one more we do have a custom mode which i have no idea what is that i try a million times to do something with that but it just say custom mode so you have to customize it somehow maybe you have to get the new software from the dealer you're gonna you're gonna do the custom so basically you're covering the whole monitor the whole cluster with your speed with all information about the car with your steering wheel so i'm gonna try to move it down oh basically now i can see what's going on there but again i'm not comfortable to drive what should i do i mean all the way up that's what i need to go but i cannot go there because there is nothing available on my cluster so and there is a lot of different hidden things which is the signs of the previous like the i think it is about 15 signs all around the car you have to find it so you're not only buying the car which is prius which is super nice and modern and nobody has it only you and quite some few other people in your city maybe if you have a small city nobody has it what you can do you can enjoy it and you can spend some time with your kids or with your friends and try to find those signs because they're 15 all around the car you just got the prius and also what i'm going to mention 
those, those services which is available for subscription, I mean, I already, it's already expired. So I do have a Bluetooth here, but there is no uh, GPS available on this car, so I have to pay for it. There is nothing, uh, there is nothing like experience drive connection, get started. So yeah, I have to basically pay for the subscription and they're gonna unlock me the map. That's so beautiful and uh, I cannot charge my phone, I cannot use my map, but it's, it's good. I mean, it's a Prius. There is a lot of everybody talking, oh, you know, there is a, such a beautiful hiding pocket here. Wow. Wow, what? What should I do with that? I mean, put my phone there or put my gum or what is it for? This is such a nice thing and it's available. So all the middle central console, the shifter, which is exactly the same as on the crown or on the crown, exactly the same as on the Prius. All those buttons, the way they works and the way they, they designed and put it is exactly the same way as on the crown. And I think all new cars, gonna go the same exactly way as this car and it just it's just horrible you know and again if you can accept it on the Prius but the other cars I cannot accept it and again we do have a sauce button I mean emergency button which is covered by emergency cover and it's it's just the way it is the, but the, the beautiful thing about this car and you're gonna see it at night I'm not talking about uh, sunglasses pocket there is none available I'm talking about the lights it's LED lights and the way they made it, it's, it's just beautiful. And especially when you turn it on at night, it's just super nice. Can I fit my kids here? I mean, I tried, you know, and you might gonna see there's a spot from my uh, child car seats. Uh, I tried several times, but for some reason they didn't like it. I don't know why. I mean, I was asking them before, like, why I don't like it? But they keep, I mean, you know, punching me to my back and telling me something what I cannot hear because the engine was working. And I'm like, okay, maybe when I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna hear them much better. But when I stopped, they already been sleeping or they've been crying so loud, so I cannot talk to them about it anymore. And I don't wanna even mention anymore because I mean, that time has passed and am I gonna affect them in the future? I mean, that's it, you know, I'm done. And the kid's done with this car, so beautiful. I mean, Uber driver, probably, but when somebody gonna punch you in your back, you're gonna understand this car, it's not designed for Uber. I mean, who is it designed for? I mean, the students, yes. For some old people, probably, I mean, if the old guy gonna drive it uh, by himself in the car, that's super nice. I mean, he's gonna save a lot of money for the gas, which is supposed to be about 50 or 60 MPG, whatever, but the full gas tank enough for about 450 miles, not 600, how I was thinking. Uh, but the cool thing about this car, it's a brand new engine. It's never been before and it's, it's designed new, especially for the Prius. And we're gonna see it right now. So there is not, not quite much difference between the fuel consumption about the new car and about the previous body style. Depends how you drive. If you're driving super slow on the Eco mode, you're going to get a lot of more MPG on this car. But I'm not. I mean, I'm driving on the Eco mode, maybe normal mode, but I'm driving normal way because it's my daily driving car. It used to be not anymore. So now we're going to see what's the engine. I mean, the, like I said, the sound proven on this car is just, uh, I mean, you're going to see, you're going to hear everything. Whatever's going on inside. On the street there is a dog barking there is a cat going and this and that you know and uh, the engine here it's something nice i mean it's a brand new 2.0 which is designed especially for this car and quite few things i want to see i want to tell about this engine first of all it has a lot of noise too probably if i'm going to call the dealer they're going to tell me the same just drive 5,000 miles more and see what's going on you know the noise is going to go away we have to do some maintenance change the oil but when i check here the oil here it's a 016 so it's not the type of oil you're going to go to autozone and tell them you know hey i got this car i already drove 10,000 miles i want to get 08 or 016 oil which is the factory of toyota required for this car and after is going to just look at you and and going to ask you are you sure you need 616 whatever 08 oil or you need 530 1030 that's what people want 530 1030 i don't know why this car has that oil whatever so trunk compartment it is a supersonic red, which is just a simple red. But if you're gonna take a look closer, it's not a simply red color. It is a pearl red, which is three stage paint. And you can see it, it's nice. Especially when the sun is shining and you're driving the previous NLA, you're like, you know, modern guy, which is super cool. So we're going to the trunk compartment, right? So there is a trunk available. It's a hatchback, it's kind of big. I don't know the dimension of it. I mean, I'm not the Google searcher. I'm so sorry, I'm just daily driving. So that's the, that's the trunk compartment, right? That's, that's what we have here. Uh, I cannot explain what is that. There is a, it's a something, you know? I mean, maybe you're gonna see it on it, you know, check what's going on under the car. 
Uh, is it oil leaking? No, it's not. So I'm going to go back and put it back because it's a durable. It's a Toyota. I mean, nothing going on with that, you know? We do have a lot of space here. What we have inside, I'm going to show it to you right now. You don't have to come over. Uh, do I have a spare tire? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I do not. What I have here, I do have an air compressor, which is right here. And what I do have more, it's a glue for my tire. So that's super nice. Oh, I have a tone tow hitch so that's cool too so means when i'm going to drive this car again if i'm going to drive it probably not i have to remove all my stuff from the crown and put it here you know why i mean you just saw why it's it's super nice this one it's just toyota you know it's it's, it's durable why they made it here why they didn't put it here i have no idea but it looks like the designer was was high enough to make it this way and to say you know we prius we super we super we're friendly, we like eco-friendly guys. We're not gonna put any more those covers, which is super, <clears throat> super heavy and super uncomfortable. This one, you can put it back and take some, you know, you can go on the beach and take some picnic outside the car, sit here, lay down here, probably, maybe not, but it is a Prius, you know, there is not nothing, nothing to inspire about it. But I mean, nothing, nothing, there is nothing about the technology of this car. It's just a Prius and you have to take it whatever it is. That's the daily driven Prius. And that's what you're gonna see, what you're gonna feel when you go into eco mode. <gasps> you just step on the gas. Wow, we're at uh, 30 miles per hour. Okay, okay, let's stop it. Beautiful sound, I love it so much. You can't even imagine how. So now we're gonna go to the normal. Sport, it's a normal. Which is with 25 right now, so I don't know what's the seconds of that, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna go to the sport mode, you can tell right there, I'm switching to the sport mode, and BAM! We go in same 25 miles per hour, and the engine just wants to die, you know, and go home, and he doesn't know what he's doing here, but I do know because it's Prius. <laughs> Чтобы они нас не приняли тут. Даже чувака приняли, это еще с Пашей. У Паши? Ты тут полазить? Полазить, нет? Давай. Пока стоим, давай. So right here on the central display, that's what we have on the all the Priuses. So number one, that's the navigation, which is this car doesn't have it. There's a subscription, you have to pay for it. We're gonna get it. There's a satellite, which is not working. There's your favorites, I mean the music. The music just, I turn on the satellite radio. There's the sources, you can play Apple music. I never get one, so, but you have it maybe. So we're gonna play it. There's Amazon music. Okay, that's super nice. What about the car itself? Uh, energy flow, that's really important information, you have to keep track on that, so, I mean, it's better to keep track on that, because otherwise you cannot see speed, you cannot see what's going on there, just enjoy the view what's going on here, that's energy flow, you know, it's always good when you have a positive energy flow, so vehicle alert, I mean, there is no alerts yet, but maybe sooner or later it's gonna be, trip information, that's some numbers which is probably gonna impress you, like 45 mpg, that's what the latest, that's what that's what the car getting, and uh, climate control, I mean, what is it, auto AC, autos, I mean, yeah, I got it, whatever, it's just auto, so, pretty much, quite it, that's it. So in general, what I can say about the Prius, as a daily driving, it's a beautiful car, if you want to save some money on the gas, if you want to pay for this car a little bit more when whatever MSRP is saying, it's not true, you're not going to get it. You have to wait a little bit, but if you're going to wait, you're going to get what you're waiting for. I mean, it is a Prius. You're going to see a lot of Uber stickers around the city soon, pretty much. I mean, the engine does just start working and it sounds like, again, something broken inside, but the dealer saying it's all good, so don't worry about it. And uh, you're going to see a lot of those cars speeding up on the freeway and there is nothing you can do about it. You just have to take it and accept it. Is it a beautiful color? It is a super nice color. It's a super sonic red. And I did see those cars in the black color and the dark blue color. They're not exactly the same. And you cannot even tell what kind of car driving by if it's a different color. But this one, because it has a huge sign on the front, 
it is a Toyota. So everybody gonna understand what kind of Toyota is that. They're gonna Google it, they're gonna take a picture, send it to the friend. I mean, you do have quite some time because again, we're in May 2023 and probably those guys, those cars are gonna be on the road by the end of this year. So if you're gonna get this car about right now, you're gonna drive it in the city, about maybe next three or five months, you're gonna be like a star. You're not gonna be super famous star, but you're gonna be star on the road because everybody driving different cars, you're driving super nice, redesigned, completely brand new. That's the 2023 and it has a lot of different things, which I do like a lot. Do I love this car? I do love this car as a Prius. Do I love this car as a daily driving car? Absolutely not. Do I love this car if I'm gonna be calling Uber and this car gonna come to me and I'm gonna jump on the back seat? I hate it. I don't want to someone come and pick me up on this car. Come back to me on the old car, you know, park this car somewhere else, get your old Toyota Prius and drive it, just make your money, you know, this one put it on the side. I mean, keep it probably after a couple of years. I'm so sorry, but not a couple of years, maybe after 10, five, 10 years, this car gonna cost much more because it's brand new, you're not, you didn't drive it enough. So it's gonna have about thousand miles in the car and you're gonna sell it for double more just because it's brand new, it's iconic. And I think because this car, it's totally new, it's redesigned, it has new car, I mean new engine, it has a lot of new things, which is previous car didn't have it at all. And it's always, and it's on a huge demand everywhere, worldwide. You're gonna take the Japan, you're gonna take Europe, you're gonna take Mother Rush, you're gonna take Australia, United States. It's like everywhere. Everybody want this car because it's brand new and nobody has it in stock. So, as a previous body showed before, it's the number one car sales everywhere, worldwide. So the factory working so hard right now just to fit the needs of the people. And I think it's a beautiful car. Give me the like, and I'm asking you right now, would you buy this car right now for MSRP without extra charge? Put your comment below and answer my question.